I want to thank y'all for being here. I only expected about 10, 12 people to be here for this, but because a lot of times there's people are working, they've got other things to do at 10 o'clock in the morning. But our Constitution has provided for us to an occasion such as this that we can stand up and we can rally and we can make our voice known to Washington. My Constitution was designed that when we reach a time in history when there's a gap between the American people and between the Congress, that we can do something about it. It's not maybe a quick fix, but it can be done very quickly. So we are going to protest, we're going to raise questions, and we're going to do all that we can. We began a journey here last Wednesday, and we took a stand, and our stand was that we're not going to stand for all of the high taxes that's coming in and burdens that we placed on our children. We're going to stand up, and we're going to take back the White House and we're going to do it with a vote. We have to. That's the only way. That's the legal way. We have a Tea Party, and it, and it represents taxation without representation. And I said this the other day, and it's still true. Today we have taxation with inadequate representation. We've got to do something about that. And that's one of the parts of our campaign. That's what we want to do. We continue that journey. Today is our campaign gains momentum as the as a as the Tea Parties gain momentum, as America rises up, and as people stands up against the government to tell them, we're not happy with what you're doing. We need to begin to reform the government to serve the people, not for, not for people to serve the government. Somewhere along the, raw, raw, the road, it got twisted a little bit, and somehow or another, we seem to be servants of the Congress rather than, than, the, than the head of the Congress. It's time that we people stand up. We need to get the word out. And we need to do it because we need to protect our children and our grandchildren. And we're going to have to do it. We can no longer can stand aside. We can no longer be passive. We can no longer be an innocent bystander because the longer we're innocent and bystand, the heavier the debt gets, the bigger the debt goes, and the more we have to overcome. We must have less government. We've got to have less government. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1942, I shared this the other day, and it's worth sharing again, in Wickard versus Filburn, a court case of the Supreme Court said that when the government invests money in anything or gives money to anybody, the government has the right to control it. And I'm proud of our governor, for he did not take the government money and so forth, because once we take the government money, we are obliged to abide by their rules. Now, you know, we're not going to try to buy votes. We're going to try to earn your vote. And uh, we have a few folks out here in our committee, in our campaign committee, and I want to thank them for being here. And uh, our committee is going to grow. Our campaign committee is going to get bigger. But we want to restore honesty and integrity to Congress. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you look for the ratings of Congress. I couldn't find it. There's bound to be a rating someplace. The last I heard, it was well under 20%. And uh, I imagine not. It might be slow. You can't even find it. So maybe that's not the reason why they're not even sharing it. Their rating has gone so low, they don't talk about it anymore. Anyway, you know, we've been looking to Congress all the time to lead us and to guide us. We've trusted them. We put them up there and to represent us and to represent the people. And that's what we want to do in our campaign. That's what I want to do. I want to represent you. I want to be your congressman. I want to be there. I want to keep in touch with you. We've established a web page already. It's called JohnCooperUSCongress.com. Very simple, keep as short as we can. Recently, you've heard some things like this, uh, the, the port giveaways. Uh, in Alaska, they did this thing, uh, have something about the habitations of the ground squirrels. Y'all heard about that, didn't you? They followed up with another little, a short story about why pigs smell. And I'm going to tell y'all something. If that's not pork, I don't know what is. <laughs> Amen? All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the erosion of the American dream. It is going downhill fast. We've got to stand up. We've got to go do the job. It's left up to us. We're the people. We're all in this together. It's not just me. It's not just me running for our seat. It's us together getting a voice in Washington where we can control what goes on and, make, and have our own destiny and have our country run the way we think it should be run. But right now, there's that vast gap between the American people and between the White House. And I want to go to the White House and shorten that gap and begin the process of getting us back to where we're supposed to be. You know, we've got to drill oil. We need to go to the Amwar, and uh, we've been blocked on that. We need to encourage me, <coughs> the use of shell oil. We need to reappeal the latest technology of, of ethanol. 
the other day I had to have uh, some filters changed on my truck. Went to the garage, the guy changed out my filter somewhere around 50 bucks, and he said, well, that's because of ethanol. In my day and time when I grew up, ethanol was moonshine, and I think it's still the same today. Anyway, you know, George Washington said it's impossible to rightly govern the world without God and the Bible. I believe that, don't you? Mark Twain said, you know, America is a nation without a distinct criminal class. He said, with the possibility of the Congress. He was speaking a long time ago. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, we have the right to assemble. We have the right to protest. We have the right to vote. The most important one of those is that we go vote, and we vote for people who we know will stand up, who will vote in Congress the way we want to vote. And that's what we're doing. Our, con our committee and us, we're coming to you saying today, we want you to go with us. We want you to vote with us. We want you to send us, or to send me in particular, to the White House to voice your vote. Go to our webpage as soon as we get it up. Now, our webpage, we'll keep in contact with the people. And that's that's what this is all about for us. We can be passive no longer. It's time we have to stand up. Y'all will be surprised. I talked to a lady this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you what. She was mad. And I said, look, come and join our campaign. Now, let's do it right. Well, she's going to send letters and petitions and things to the Congress. That's good. That's our right. But... I asked, I said, well, come and do it with us. Do it the right way. Let's go change Washington with a vote. That's what we need to do. And so, ladies and gentlemen, send me to Washington. Let me be your voice. Check my website. Let's get together. Let's do it all together. Let's go to Washington and let's vote the way it's supposed to be. I pledge to you one thing. I don't have all the answers to all the problems, but I'll tell you this one thing. I pledge to you that I will be your voice in Washington if you send me there. I'm going there with the faith in our government and our constitution in one hand and your vote in the other hand to protect the rights of the American people. That's why today I've come to you to announce to you that our campaign, our campaign committee and I and myself, John Cooper, announcing today we're running and seeking as running as a candidate for the United States House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. The primary will be in March. We've got a lot of work to do. We invite you to come and go with us. Thank you very much. God bless y'all, and God bless America.